Hi, John's dad here. I just wanted to give you an update here before I head out from Iron Master's Mansion here in Pine Grove Furnace State Park. I actually stayed here four days at the Iron Master's Mansion, uh, two days in the dorms, and uh, two days I, I camped out here. Um, last night, I got to tell you, it got a little bit cold and, and uh, I had to get up and put an extra blanket on. The uh, air conditioner was a little bit too chilly. And uh, at least that's what I told the guys who uh, complained about how hot and uh, humid it was in the dorm last night. I didn't really need to put on the blanket. So for my stay here, I got some rose and buds, roses, buds and thorns kind of wrap it up. Now roses, um, the first day I was here, I met uh, a mom and her daughter, uh, eight year old little girl, uh, with the trail name of Mushroom, her mom is Citrus. And we actually spent several hours every day sitting over by the grocery store and uh, played tic-tac-toe and word search and uh, we played hide and go seek. <laughs> All kinds of stuff that, you know, grandpas like to do with grandkids. And my grandkids aren't here, so I'll pick anybody's grandkids. And we just had a blast. I ate a lot of ice cream. I did uh, succeed in completing the half gallon challenge. It did take me four pints over four days, but I count that. I'll, I'll just take that uh, maybe the longest record rather than the shortest record. The food over at that grocery store is real good. Weather has been eh, hot, but really nice while I've been here. And so it's been kind of nice that way. Kind of really wish I would have been hiking rather than, uh, than waiting. My uh, big bud is that uh, later today, uh, my hiking buddies and friends from uh, back home, they'll be showing up today with uh, my resupply for the first few days. And um, we'll get hiking and uh, head south from uh, Pine Grove Furnace State Park. I'm only gonna go maybe four miles today. And I don't know, on average, 10 or so uh, until we reach uh, Harper's Ferry. And I'm looking forward to it. We, I mentioned before, we do this hike every summer. Since I'm retired, I decided to add on this section between Delaware Water Gap and Pine Grove Furnace State Park. Um, when, they can get, when they retire, they can uh, join me on the longer stretches. I did look back and calculate that I skipped about 50 miles between Swatara Gap and Carlisle. I took two shuttles, ended up spending a couple days in Duncannon, which was really good. My knees, ankles, joints, everything, it was all hurting. Um, it even, uh, uh, after I got to Duncannon, just from, I think, from the exhaustion and how wore out I was, I ended up getting nosebleeds, which they do happen for me. I do get nosebleeds sometimes, uh, but these were just spontaneous. I clearly was under stress. So uh, looking back, it was a good, good call to get off and take a couple of zeros. So thorns. Uh, I'm not really sure. The weather for the next week is uh, four or five days of rain and maybe three days of not rain. And so that's kind of a thorn, but that's a, maybe a negative bud rather than a thorn. Well, I was here, um, uh, Rob the Nomad, he has his own channel, check it out. Uh, he's been here as well. And so we spent a lot of time talking and, and uh, you know, that's about it. You know, hanging out, talking to other people. I do find it's maybe 10% of the people that I meet out here, 10, 15 percent, are somehow currently involved with scouts or have been in scouts. A lot of Eagle Scouts, and I just think that's fantastic. Uh, the BSA scouting program is, is really a good one, and it, uh, it teaches um, our kids to grow up and be ethical and moral leaders. And, and uh, so I'm sure I'm proud of everything that uh, our troopers accomplished and uh, Scouts BSA in general has accomplished. So, my plans for today I'm going to go buy some very heavy. Velveeta cheese cream spread stuff. It's in a little packet with jalapeno flavoring. And I'm gonna add that to my instant potatoes and maybe tuna or chicken. And um, that'll give a nice flavor. I'm getting a little bit tired of the instant potatoes. I've only got a week left of it. And um, I forget the two or three of the dinners I've got planned include those potatoes. Other than that, I'm gonna hang out. I just talked to the um, ma manager here at Iron Masters Mansion. And I've got the whole day, so I'm going to leave my equipment here in, the, in my private uh, campsite. Um, unfortunately, not very many pillows, but, but that's okay. I mean, it's a hostel. You can't expect lots of pillows. And so I'm going to leave my equipment in here. I've got a bottle of frozen water with two noon tablets dissolved in it in the freezer. So um, my last thing I'll do, I'll come and grab my backpack, grab the water out of the freezer. And two, three hours from now, when I really want a cold drink, I'm gonna have partially melted bottle of water. It is so good, it's so refreshing. 
Now that is assuming that I'm not keeping my head covered and fighting the thunderstorm to schedule for this afternoon. So anyway, if any questions or comments, you know, have you been to Pine Grove Furnace State Park? What did you think? What did you do here? They got a couple of nice beaches. Did you go swimming? Uh, so let me know and I'll talk to you after later. show up uh, this afternoon. I put my uh, water in the freezer and it's got two tablets, of noon, two noon tablets in it. And then my tortillas and cheeses and some pepperonis, I got those in there too. It doesn't hurt for them to be frozen. They don't be frozen by the time I eat them, but I, you know, I'll put them in next to my water bladder and maybe that'll cool my uh, drinking water off a little bit. It's getting warm outside. Well, the group's assembled. We have uh, 13 hikers and we have um, two support people. They're going to see us on Monday and on Wednesday and give us some food. And uh, I'm trying to tell them this is not how the trail looks north of Duncannon. I don't know if they believe me or not, but if they, if they hike that section, they'll know what I mean. This is different trail. It's beautiful. We're making great progress. Usually with a group, you should plan uh, one mile an hour, two mile an hour if you're alone and there's terrain issues, three if it's kind of flat and beautiful like this. And with the group, it's one mile an hour, no matter what. And um, we're, we're doing two miles an hour. This is beautiful. A lot of experienced people in this group though, so we're not all beginners. We've got a couple miles in, and there's a forecast for storms tonight. The forecasts haven't been accurate lately. Forecasting of a storm for all day long, and that gets revised gradually, and then less and less, and then finally, it's just some sprinkles. So I don't know, those clouds look pretty serious, pretty dark. They're moving pretty quickly. There's a breeze, it's a nice breeze. 